Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm Chris, this is the Salty Trip Channel, and today we are going to do run a test to see how long our 24 volt, 200 amp hour, lie time lithium battery is gonna last us in this fifth wheel RV. We're gonna be no solar, no shore power. We'll see how long it lasts, so stick around, check it out. So let's start with what's going to be running the battery. We have a 24 volt uh, multi plus two Victron inverter, uh, which will provide 2400 watts of constant power and it can max up to 3000 watts. And we probably won't get close to that today because we are just going to be running one AC. It's going to be about 82 degrees outside today. And I have the AC set for 73 degrees. That's going to be kicking on and off, trying to keep up with that ambient temperature outside. And we have a residential fridge. You know, this is not an RV fridge where, you know, it, it runs off 12 volt or propane. This is a, a 120 volt like fridge that you find in your home. And the inverter is going to be running that the whole time. We have, of course, like our internet, and we're gonna have the TV running, you know, maybe run the microwave or something. Uh, I already made some coffee, maybe make some more coffee, but uh, we'll, we'll kind of see how it goes as we go along. And uh, so stick around, check it out. We're gonna go outside, and right now it's 8.06 in the morning, and it's like about 78 degrees outside and it's supposed to get up about five or six more degrees as the day goes on. But we're gonna go shut that power off. And you can see right here that, uh, you know, it's pulling from shore power, nothing from battery. And of course we don't have any solar yet, but that's coming. And uh, we just got a, a extra battery from Light Time. We haven't installed it yet, but we're going to soon. And, but we're gonna, I just wanna do a run, test run with this one battery before we install the second one. So let's go outside and do it. All right, monkeys, come on. Come on, Frankie. All right. All right, so we're just going to go shut the power off. All right, no power. So this thing's just running off the Victron unit right now. And we'll show you that here real quick. And you hear, I don't know if you can hear the beeping or not, but that's just the beeping saying that the inverter takeover, you kind of hear it humming just a little bit. But this is our lie time, 24 volt, 200 amp hour battery. And uh, I'll go shut that alarm off here real quick. It's just letting us know that we lost shore power. Come on guys. Come on Finnies, come on. All right. See that's the alarm going off. You just hit okay and let you know, tell it that that's gone. All right guys, so we shut the alarm off. And so now we're just pulling directly from the battery. See, it's saying 89% left. So we'll see how long that is. Clock says 8.09. We're going to watch some TV. AC is going to run. Like I said, we got the refrigerator running. I'm probably going to turn some of these lights off just because it's unnecessary. I'll just do it for you guys so you can see. But uh, not too much else is going on. You know, the we have internet. We have my computer plugged in. I'm not really going to be on that, but... Uh, pretty much everything runs on 120 volts in here, except for like the lights and the jacks on this thing. We don't have any 12 volt appliances or anything like that. So the Vitron and the battery is going to be supplying all the power to this thing while we run this test. And uh, we'll let you know how it goes. Like I said, it's about it's going to get up to about 82 degrees outside. And I have it set for 73 in here. So we'll give it a little while and we'll check back in in a few minutes. All right, before we go any farther in this thing, I want you guys to go down in the comment section below. How long do you think this uh, battery is gonna last? Um, let's, let's see if we can get closest to the nearest uh, half hour mark. So do you think it's gonna be three hours, one hour, five hours? All right, leave it in the comment section below and we'll see how long this takes. All right, so one of the good things about this uh, Victron unit is like everything's like wireless. Like we have it connected to the our 5G internet and, uh, and it does through Bluetooth also, but I can monitor the power from the chair here while I'm watching TV. It's a great tool to have. Uh, there's a lots of choices out there as far as like inverters go, but um, I think the Victron 
gives you the most options as far as versatility. Other inverters out there, you have to have like a switch for, or you cut the power off and then you plug it into the inverter and stuff like that. The Victron unit has the pass through where the power from shore power goes through it and then back into your uh, power panel. So it's an automatic seamless transfer of power. And that's why we kind of picked this unit, but there's lots of options out there. That's what we have right now. And that's what's powering this thing. And the lie time batteries have been, uh, fantastic so far so i'm just curious to see how long we're going to be able to go and if you have any questions about this system or the battery lie time and stuff like that leave them down in the description area below and i'll leave links to all the products uh we use i actually have a whole nother video about installing that so if you're curious about what it takes to install one of these systems like that i have a step-by-step -step everything we did to hooking up the wires to inside to the batteries the uh power distribution bars and all that stuff like that and the servo gx full install i'll link that video down in the description area below we will check back um, when we get to about 50 percent and i'll let you know what's going on all right guys we just hit 50 percent on the battery and we've just been catching up on our latest uh salty trips uh videos for trucks travel and towing and if you're into that kind of stuff hit that subscribe button and follow all our adventures but uh, the TV's been running, um, you know, of course the fridge and stuff has been going. The AC has been going on and off uh, intermittently uh, for, I don't, you know, like it would, it would kick on for maybe 5-10 minutes and then kick off for about 15 minutes, 10-15 minutes and uh, or so on, like give or take, a, you know, 5 or 10 minutes each. But it hasn't been running constantly, but it's been kicking on and off because it's already like 85 degrees outside and rising. And it's still 73 degrees in here. Also, I wanted to mention that the AC does have an RV airflow systems installed in there. That is that styrofoam insert that directs the flow through your vents to help the airflow. So that dramatically helps the, it doesn't have to run near as long because it increases the airflow. And I have a whole nother video about that. I'll link it down in the description area below installing those things but between the soft start rv uh airflow systems in there it's keeping this uh 36 foot fifth wheel cool in here and we are down to 50 percent as you can see right there um right now the ac ac is not working we're just pulling three a little over three uh 100 watts and that's probably just the tv and the refrigerator and stuff like that. It's been almost exactly an hour and a half. It's nine, it was 9.38 when it hit the 50% mark and uh, it just hit 9.40 now from me talking. But, uh, you know, and the, I went back and looked at the alarm uh, when the power shut off and the power shut off exactly 8.08. So it's uh, almost 10 o'clock. We finally hit 50%, so that's an hour and a half. And I'm only going to let this thing run to about 10% of the battery uh, battery, because that's where I have the alarm set at. Because you, you don't want the lithium to drop too low, uh, but that's completely within uh, parameters and stuff like that. Who thought that it we would get this far or we would run out? And I also wanted to mention, too, uh, about the... The lifetime lithium battery, we have, like I said, we have 24 volt system, inverter system and battery with 200 amp hours. And if you're not real sure how that kind of equates to 12 volt batteries, it's basically four 12 volt, 100 amp hour batteries. Because uh, if you double the volts, you only need half the amp hours. So it's basically a, a 24 volt, 200 amp hour battery battery it's the equivalent of a 12 volt 400 amp hour battery so that's about 5,000 kilowatt hours on on this battery so far so good the ac just kicked back on and you can see up here the voltages or the wattage is kicking up and it doesn't spike because we have the the soft start up on the ac unit which, the, if you're not sure what the soft start is, is when these ACs kick on, the compressor uses a big surge of amperage. And uh, it's usually too much for most of these uh, inverters to handle. So you put a soft start on there, which slowly increases the amperage so you don't get that surge. So, like, if you have a generator or an inverter, it doesn't, you know, exceed its capacity. So now I run at 1,500 amps. Just dropped down to 
But uh, we'll let you know how it's going. Uh, we'll keep catching up on our videos, RV videos, and trucks travel towing. Like I said, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to follow along, hit that subscribe button, notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up if you're getting some out of it. Hopefully, uh, we'll see exactly how long this battery is going to last because I told you we have another battery that we're going to install. So we should be able to get twice the, the amount we'll wind up with this. So, and like I said, no solar, no shore power, nothing else is heating, just battery alone. All right, guys, we just hit below our 10% limit. We're still going, the AC's cranking. It did get a little hotter than I thought it was gonna be outside. It's like 86 degrees out there and it's still 73 degrees in here. So the RV airflow systems and the one AC is working in this fifth wheel. So if you're wondering if you can cool a fifth wheel with one AC, it just depends on how hot it is outside. And how long is your uh, like a 400 amp hour 12 volt battery or 24 volt 200 amp hour battery is the same equivalent. How's that long gonna last? It is 20 minutes shy of making it three hours. So it was about two hours and uh, 40 minutes. It is 1046 right now. So didn't quite make the three hours. Um, let's look down in the comments and see who was right. Well, so far these lifetime batteries have been, uh, proven themselves pretty good. Um, they are less than half the price of like Battleborns and uh, they have a great warranty and uh, so far a good company behind them if you have issues. So I would definitely go check them out. I'll leave links in the description area below for lifetime batteries. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up the test for today. We, uh, you know, it was 86 degrees outside. One AC is keeping this fifth wheel uh, cool at 73 degrees, a 13 degree difference uh, for almost three hours. So this will just give you kind of a general idea how long you can run an AC off. Can you run an AC off one AC in a fifth wheel at 86 degrees outside? Yes, you can, and uh, that's how long it lasts you. Glad you came along. Hope you got something out of this. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye.